you are here, you probably already know what a fraction is. I'm going to teach you how to add them together. There are two numbers that you need to know about in a fraction. Understanding these terms make it easier to explain the addition process. So come on, let's go. First number is called the numerator. This is the number above the line. The next number is the evil denominator. This is the number below the line. The denominator is the complicated one, always making things difficult for people like you and me. Come on, I'll show you. If the two fractions you are adding have the same denominator, then it's going to be easy. For example, if you're adding one-fourth and one-fourth together, it goes like this. Add the numerators together. One plus one is two, so the numerator in your answer will be two. The denominator's process is different. Because both of our denominators are the same number, this will be no problem at all. Both of our denominators are four, so we can just carry it over to our answer. The denominator in your answer will be four, leaving you with an answer of two-fourths. Too easy. When adding fractions, just remember this. Numerator plus numerator, and bring the common denominator over. Okay, here's the problem. If you're adding one-fourth and one-eighth together, you'll notice that the denominators are different. Somehow we need to make the denominators the same, or common. Here's how we do that. We can change the denominator in one-fourth from a four to an eight by multiplying it by two. But because we multiply the denominator by two, we have to do the same for the numerator. That gives us a whole new set of numbers. Now we are adding two eighths and one eighth together. And we already know how to do that. Remember, numerator plus numerator and bring the denominator over. Your answer will simply be three eighths. Now you may be thinking that it'll get more difficult as the numbers get bigger. I figure 75% to you, Pan Ma. And 25% divided between the five of us. Gida, Crowbar, myself, Tom, and the baby. That makes 5% for each one of us. Ah, uh, 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 Billy, you're cheating yourself. If there's 25% divided among the five of you, that's 14% apiece. Oh, no, listen, Pa. I, I wouldn't cheat you. You know I wouldn't. Now, look. Look here. I'll show you. Let me rub this out here. And now, 25 divided by 5 is 5. You see, you, 5 won't go into 2, will it? No. But 5 goes into 25 five times, you see? No, you're wrong, Billy. Now, now I'm pretty good at mathematician. Now, 5 into 25... Five won't go into two, will it? No. But five goes into five once. Now, we didn't use the two before, so we bring it down here. Now, five into 20 goes four times. There you are. Five into 25, 14. No, look, Pa. Uh, let me prove it to you now by multiplication. Uh, five times five. Five times five is 25. Billy, I'm surprised you're learning. Huh? I'm surprised that you're learning. Now I'll show you. Five times 14 is 25. Five times four is 20. Five times one is five. 25. That's it. No, no. Look, Ma. Look, you're wrong there because I'll, I'll, pro I'll prove it to you. I'll, we'll put down four, five 14s here. 14, 14, 14. There. Now. Now, I'll prove to you by addition that, that 5 14s is not 25. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 21, Wait. 22, 23, 24, 25. There you are. Better brush up, Billy. I don't want to see you boys cheated.
like this. Yeah. Soak it in. Love it, live it, work it. Yeah. Soak it. show ever. Yeah, it was. We'll see you next Friday. Now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, 